Hey everyone, today we're gonna go over one of the best default legends in Apex Legends. Bloodhound has a ton of viability for those who are new or even those who are looking to push their skills to the top. We've got tips, tricks, gameplay examples, and a lot more to go over. So let's get you on your way to mastering this technological tracker. At their core, Bloodhound is Apex's resident tracker legend, which also does mean that they are a recon legend. If you are unfamiliar, all recon legends do get to ping the survey beacons on the maps, which give a nice ping or scan of that entire map so you can see where enemies are. This is very important to understand how to approach fights, if it's okay to take a fight, because maybe third parties are nearby, or that you can't avoid fights and get that positioning for endgame. So even outside of Bloodhound's kit, they already get some tracking, but that true tracking really does come from the Hound's passive tracker. Tracker leaves icons on the ground of where enemies have done recent actions, traveled through, sliding, revived teammates, killed enemies, and a lot more. We will go over some of the really important icons, but for visual reference, on screen are some of the icons bloodhounds can see note that the icons will disappear after 90 seconds and the color does go from dark red meaning it happened very recently say within 10 seconds and it will fade down to a light red or pinkish color when it does get close to that 90 second expiration as bloodhound you can also ping these icons to get your team some audible indication as to what has happened the biggest tip i can give with these icons is in regard to the skull icon this means a player has died in this location this is important because if you know some members of an enemy team have escaped you can actually keep tabs on this icon as a player's banner can be picked up for just about the same amount of time, 90 seconds. I find this to be crazy important in ranked, where oftentimes players are going to try to send in and get that banner at the last second. Other than this though, just knowing that someone was nearby and how long ago can better let you understand if enemies are close. Also, it will let you know if you're following or running away from the direction they have traveled by either the timer on the icon staying the same or going down or going up as you are traveling in the opposite direction. It is pretty wild the amount of things that are packed into one legend's passive ability as Bloodhound also gets the passive feature of the White Raven. This is an integral part of their kit for both tracking enemies and keeping their ultimate ability ready to go as it will get you a lot more ultimate uses in each match. For starters though, the Raven is more or less an assistant or an indicator that spawns on the ground that can be pinged to let Bloodhound's team know what direction the nearest enemy squad is. On the minimap, the Raven is at the center of the white circle that pulses. The big thing with this raven is that bloodhound can either send out a tactical scan in the direction of the raven and more or less hit it with that scan or they can walk up to the raven and interact with it either way this is going to get you that indicator as to where the enemy team is but a huge thing is as long as you are not scanning an enemy pinging the raven with a scan will automatically and completely refund your tactical meaning you might as well do this every time the only time where you may not want to scan the raven is if you know an enemy is somewhat nearby and you don't want them to see that red wave from the tactical scan. The kicker is, if an enemy is within about 175 meters of yourself, the raven is simply just not going to spawn, meaning again, you are just better off scanning that raven from afar and keeping things moving. And like I outlined at the start, and if this tracking is not enough, Bloodhound also gets a 25% of an ultimate recharge every time they do scan or ping that raven, meaning again, this is so important to letting you get a lot more ultimates in every game, and thus, it's going to dramatically increase your combat effectiveness, and this is probably one of the biggest things for Bloodhound. We've already somewhat hinted at the tactical ability as it is what Bloodhound was previously best known for, the scan. If you are returning to Bloodhound after a long hiatus, I will start by saying that Bloodhound's tactical scan really is not quite as good as it used to be, but it is still pretty effective if you are using it intelligently. Eye of the Allfather is a 125 cone of scan that when it comes in contact with enemies, traps, tracking clues from Bloodhound's passive, and even loot ticks, they will be highlighted through walls and objects to let the items be seen by you and your team. The maximum distance the scan is going to go is about 75 meters, and I will say it goes straight out and up so if you are having someone under you, you're going to want to look down a little bit so you do hit them with the scan. At the top of your screen, it's going to let you know how many enemies, traps, or objects were scanned, and it also gives enemies an indication that they were also scanned by Bloodhound. The active scan timer is one second for the full body, and then the tracking diamond does last on enemies for three total seconds. Finally, the cooldown on this ability is 25 seconds, which isn't too bad for something that does literally give you wall hacks. The most significant use of Bloodhound scan is going to be in combat. While the nature of the scanning ability is 
uses to locate enemies for a simple recon, it is much more effective and efficient to use a scan when you are literally about to push in and make it play. Being able to track someone through walls even just for one second is hugely important as it can let you peek at an enemy or move in a way that better lets you avoid taking unnecessary damage. Likewise, it can also let you pre-aim corners and if you and the team are taking advantage of the scan, you can make quick work of enemies. This does mean voice communicating to your team that you are about to scan is pretty important to let everyone get set up and make real use out of the ability. The second most critical use case for the scan is to simply just show presence. If you are unfamiliar with this term, it's more or less giving enemies an acknowledgement or a notification that you are in an area and that you know where they are and that they are gonna know where you are. Showing presence is a great way in a slower ranked environment to keep enemies from accidentally pushing into your area and it's gonna give you a little bit more map control, which this scan ability can simply do in a very easy way. There's a few words of warning I do wanna give you with that tactic for every Bloodhound that you really gotta be aware of. For one, as soon as that scan gets sent out, it is very noticeable to everyone within a large area. This means any sort of stealth play is completely out the window. Second is that enemy traps and Mirage decoys are gonna count as enemies tagged, so it could give you a false sense of how many actual enemies are in an area, and this is something that you are gonna wanna know. A lot of Bloodhound's kit does let them play in a more passive effective way, but it is the ultimate beast of the hunt that does let the Hound get in the mix when it does come to pure combat fighting. But first, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, it's free and I greatly appreciate the support. In Apex Legends, movement is life. So anything that increases movement speed or potential means that legend generally is simply just gonna be better and it is a 30% speed boost Bloodhound does get while they are in the ultimate. This ultimate ability does take three minutes to recharge which means again, scanning the White Raven is so important as it cuts the time down by 45 seconds with every interaction. The active timer of this ability is gonna be 30 seconds at its base and Bloodhound can get a bonus five to 15 seconds of additional duration for every knock that the Hound does get during the ultimate. Bloodhound's visuals also go black and white with enemies still being highlighted in red and it also enhances tracking as you can see those icons on the ground and see red foot marks of where enemies have just traveled. Finally, Bloodhound also gets a White Raven that spawns from the origin of the ultimate activation and flies towards the nearest enemy team, letting you get a little bit more of that passive tracking to be sure you are moving towards the closest squad. Similarly to the tactile scan, it is usually best to wait to pop that ultimate for when you are ready to make an offensive push. The speed boost you get cannot be valued enough as it not only lets you breach cross open areas faster, it's gonna make you harder to hit. Plus in a one-on-one -on -one fight, strafing back and forth can be very challenging for enemies to deal with as they are just not used to this speed. Because your combat is so effective in the ultimate, it is usually wise to combo in an opening scan with the ultimate so you can really make the most out of your time when you are in the ultimate ability. Plus, if you do scan right off the initial rip of the ultimate, you'll get another scan towards the end. Every now and then, you're gonna find enemies who simply just try to run, run, and run away, and if you really want to, popping the ultimate is gonna give you that 30 seconds of increased speed to run someone down, and there are very few legends who are gonna be able to outrun you. Almost in the same vein as chasing someone down, sometimes if you are struggling to find enemies in a large open area, popping the ultimate is a great way to purely gain recon as to enemy locations as they are gonna be highlighted in red, making it much easier to find someone to fight. Bloodhound really works with every legend, but I should give a huge emphasis on how critical Bloodhound can be when you are playing with and against a Bangalore. Bangalore, in some ways, really just nerfs herself and her team when she does pop smokes and you are in Bloodhound's ultimate. This means popping the ultimate when fighting a Bangalore is pretty important, and likewise, popping the ultimate with a friendly bang smoking areas means more or less you're giving yourself free sight lines on enemies through the smoke. This can also work with other visual obstruction abilities like Caustic Gas or Horizon's Black Hole, but not quite with the same effectiveness. If there is one thing I do need to stress with the ultimate though, it is to monitor your surroundings and specifically where you are in relation to your squad. A hound that is in the ultimate can oftentimes get the octane effect. This is where you are stimming a ton and getting so far away from your squad that you are more or less playing solo. Well, a Bloodhound with that 30% speed boost can pretty much do the same thing. So be sure not to overextend in your fights, leaving yourself to die just as your team is a little bit slower pulling up the rear. While Bloodhound has an extensive history of being pretty bad, then good, then bad, and then honestly incredible for a long time, today they are still in a pretty healthy spot. I give Bloodhound a soft A tier rating for general play, and honestly, they are one of the best legends if you are just starting out, as the increase in awareness that you do get when you are starting out is pretty huge. Be sure to check out this video if you want more ways to improve your skills though. Sub for more, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.